Alright, we got this episode. Five, four. Ladies and gentlemen, holy fucking shit, it's been like 20 minutes in a commercial break where me and Alex were just fucking bullshitting on people and talking. But uh, we're back! So this is the recap of what we did in the last episode. But anyways, guys, welcome back to another brand new episode of Telltale Rum Club here on the Corky's World channel. I'm Corky, as always, joined once again by my bud Alex. Hello. And we are still playing The Walking Dead Season 1. We just started Episode 3, Long Road Ahead. And I uh, had a cool a cool picture of a train, so hopefully some Yeah, I'm cool. like, if we start conducting a train, I've always wanted to be a train conductor. Spoken like a true Sheldon. So uh, we're going <laughs> to keep moving forward. And hopefully some crazy shit's happened. We are on drink five, I want to say. Yep. So. I'm not going to lie, I dumped the last one out. Did you? <laughs> I didn't it know was, that. It was so <laughs> gross, yeah. That brisk ice tea was rough. Time. I finished it. But it was it was some rough stuff. We're back to uh, Manzana Tini, so. I've, I've got a brother who shall remain nameless. But uh, he'll drink anything. I'm like, anything. Oh, yes, he Chiarsky will. vodka, like, the dirt of any alcohol. Or a drink, for that matter. He will drink anything. I'm not like that. I've I love Charlie. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> or he likes any vodka. <laughs> I am. Oh, I, shit. Are we? We're not making decisions. No, but the game is going. Yeah, it is. We changed our shirt. It was the... Episode 3. Long road ahead. It was the heat of the moment. Tell me what. Here we go. Maybe. Uh, maybe. They tend to take us by surprise. Yeah, well, the less I see, the happier I am. Anyways, guys, welcome back. Super glad to have you here with us. These episodes, none of these have even started airing yet, and it looks like we're on episode 20, so you guys are in for a huge roller coaster of emotions from me and Alex. Yeah. This is going to be awesome. I'm, I'm excited to see your guys' feedback um, as far as... Again, what you guys did different than us, what you thought about what we did and how we handled it. You know, freak out at us or you're going to think we're genius. You know, staying or going. You mean packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah. So, something I'm curious about is how much time has passed from... We should go. We should go. Motel's running. How much time has passed from us taking that food and the end of the last episode to now? Like, obviously... Kenny just pointed out he's still hurt from me getting shot. And if Lily's dead so and staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. Right, I agree with that, too. Lily can stay if she don't want to come with us. Yeah, I'm done with Lily. <sighs> Did a plane crash into our prescription store? Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. Just like last time. We didn't leave much in there. So at least some time has passed. Something's better than nothing. I don't know that that's true. Yeah, I'm like, it's not worth the risk, maybe. Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. Well, it doesn't look like one. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, it's over. Like, Kenny, you might be hopping down and us catching you. So, okay, so we can touch that. There's some debris under the truck we can look at. There's a barrel. Windows. What do you want to do? Check the barrel. You roll on the stand on or something? Just said, hmm. Oh. <laughs> well, that was useless. Come on. Huh. Come on. I guess we just tried the ladder. That seemed like a, an unnecessary function of the game. It really was. You see that? What was what? The ladder just fixed itself in one of the spots. Well. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. I'm like... There's no way Kenny honestly thought that was going to be a logical solution. Like, like I know you're dumb, and you almost said the N-word in the last episode, but... <laughs> oh, here we go. That's, like, rusted hey, fuck. Come on. <sighs> ah, shit. Damn it. I can't reach. You didn't even try. All right, stay put. All right, so... I guess we're going to find something to... Maybe now the barrel? Nope. Windows. Uh, we can push, push the, the Jeep. Jeep. Yeah, there we go. Jeeps are uh, higher than a car. As far as suspension. As well as the height of the front or the roll cage and all. Maybe pull it out of park, genius. Uh, all these... Looks, like, only, it's, looks the only, like it's just piled up one. Yeah, the only Could option be. is push. We got over here. Uh, so 
What is can that? we debris? Can we move anything that's in front of it? Like a rubble? Dude, f- fuck off with the hmms already, all right? Nah, dude, there's no rubble in front. I think it's that tire that's flat. Yep. And it's pro- and like you said, it's probably a park. Not to mention there's a ton of rubble inside. Yeah, I didn't even see that. Mm-hmm. Ooh, grocery cart. Hmm. <laughs> Lee, you being childish as hell right now. Maybe we can pull down that helicopter. Hmm. Sign. Oh, wait. It's completely flat. The winch. Lily's not doing so good, huh? We killed her dad. Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Didn't that just happen last episode? It was just fortuitous that it knew we were going to pick that. Hmm. What was that? Who's who did that song? Attached to Axel? Uh, I guess. Yeah. It's the only thing. I'm like, I don't know why. Who sang that song? It was like crash test dummies, I think. I have no clue what you're talking about. Professor Sanford, leave a leave a link down below to that video. I'm pretty sure it's it's crash test dummies, and the song was just called like. Mm-hmm. Really convenient, by the way, that. The switch was on the passenger side instead of the driver's side, because why would it be there? And two, the battery's still alive. I think she understands. I think she understands. There's no way she understands. Not like we had much choice. Right. Also, toggle switches like that, you have to keep your finger on. When you let go, they'll... They'll stop. So that stuff like that doesn't happen and it ruins up your motor. Mm-hmm. I was about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Uh, so it was last night. That wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. Scary situation. It was a scary situation for Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think. Who the fuck was Sean? He was just asking about the guy last night. Not the guy that was there last night. He was asking last night about the guy that was there. Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Tear open a suture or something. Yeah. (laughs) Shit! Good. So now we're both hurt. I don't see why Lee couldn't jump up there himself and pull himself up. Right. You okay? Yeah. Jesus. You okay? I'm fine. Shit. I'm sorry, pal. I thought it'd be healed up better. It's been not a day. It's been a night. You sure? That's what he said last night. He said last night like his kid was scared and asking about it, not... Oh, so, so maybe some more time has passed. Yeah, I'm, think. I'm thinking it. I'm like, because they've made a couple runs to this place. What the? Obviously enough for this whole street to go to hell. Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. Blam. Am I doing this? Um, it's a girl. We have to help, right? Yes. It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. we got to do something. Not for you, but you're in a safe place. You snipe them out. Where's well, she going? She just got bit, right? I don't know. Put her out of this misery. You don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Can't think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we It's not like he's being illogical. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. What do we do, shoot her or leave her? I'm only saying shoot her because she just got bit. I, I saw it. It's... I'm, I'm sure of it. So, A, shoot? Yeah. I, right, here we go. God damn it. Ooh. So that didn't even work? I mean, it killed her, but it also drew attention to us. Oh, so now we can do it just fine. Convenient. So, if we would have left her, what would have happened? I feel like we wouldn't have drawn attention to ourselves. Oh, shit! We got a bleep bloop! Uh, Alex is new to the show, so for those of you who don't know, and Alex included, a bleep bloop is an achievement. It's just something Professor and I, or Professor Sanford and I call them, so 
Whenever you see that pop up, just shout bleep bloop and leave a comment down below. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear it I'm, pr I'm pretty buzzed. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm catching that. <laughs> oh shit, this is a timed thing. Is it? Uh, okay, so grab. Grab. Fuck, I'm buzzed. This is not a good time to be buzzed. Fucking on the controller. We are trying, my goodness. <laughs> Oh shit. Fucking grab the shit. That's it? Uh oh, out of time. Out of time. Shit. All I grabbed was medicine. Fuck, incoming. Come on, Lee. He There's said, so much more Fuck. stuff right there. I know, what a bummer. Oh, fuck. It's a pharmacy, though. They don't have food behind the counter. I'm like, it was all just medicine. Good. Dude! What the heck is Kenny gonna do, really? I know, like... I'm mashing as hard as I can. Nothing's happening. Is Kenny gone? Uh, a good thing to put in front of the door, just saying. I'd also like to remind everyone that we're playing on difficult mode, which takes away all the fucking... the little helper signs. Correct. There's the pilot that crashed his jet. How he died up in a jet, no one knows, but whatever. Helicopter. He was in a helicopter? Yeah. Oh. It said helicopter outside. It said... Mm -hmm. Why are you making that face? He was like way gone. Get the fuck out of there. Why is he wasting time? Do you think if you're not his pal at this point, he says like, let's go, fucker. Let's go, <laughs> dude. Yes, I hope so. Alright guys, so this wraps up episode 20 of Walking Dead Season 1, and we are on episode 3, The Long Road Ahead. So, thanks as always to Alex for being here with me. Oh yeah. Thanks as always to you guys for tuning in. And as always, be good to yourself, be good to each other, and we will see you in the next episode. Later days, guys.